Hi everybody! In this video I'm going to do a review on the size 12 Cat's Acrylic Crimped Nail Brush. Okay, that were a lot of words. So it's a size 12 as you can see. I first ordered the 16 but I have no experience with big acrylic brushes so I deleted my order and I asked to uh, if I could do it in a 12 so that's what I did. And here you can see the brush. Well, I think it looks pretty good at first glance. It looks like natural hair to me. And of course, there's a bit of gum in there and you first have to remove it. So don't be scared of how the brush looks like, looks like right now because this is not how it will be when you work it. But you first need to get rid of all the gum residue. Well, and this is how I do it first. I really make sure with a gentle touch that most of it is out and oop, there was a hair there so I hope there will be not there will not be too much fall out of course because you want to keep the shape of your brush and especially near the end I notice that it's a bit hard to remove so I'm trying really hard to get rid of it all so it feels a bit um, well it's, it's not very smooth right now so I ho really hope that when I work it, that it will be better. And when most of the gum residue is removed, I will use the liquid. And I'm using NDED liquid today. The same as with the number eight brush from AliExpress. I did a review on to remove the final gum residue. So I am putting my brush into the Dappen dish. And then I really get it around there and use my lint free wipe to get rid of all the product left and ooh, this first feeling I don't like but I really think it's because it's a new brush because I've experienced it with the other one as well at first I was like okay this can be smoother but when you use it a bit then it gets smoother and smoother every time so what I even did with this brush after this step I even rinsed it with warm water and for me it felt that really everything was removed because of that and now you can already see that it starts to look a bit better but I still feel that near the end of the bristles there's still some gum residue left so that really doesn't feel smooth and nice so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and with a really gentle touch I'm going to remove some of the gum residue gentle like I said because when you do it too hard maybe you have experienced it with your own hair sometimes when you use your nails to put a lot of pressure on that hair then there will be a curl and it's almost impossible to remove that one so you don't want to press too hard because it will curl the hairs up you can't get it back into shape well maybe with a curling iron but I have never curled my acrylic brushes before and I'm not planning on doing a video on that of course so it feels a bit better but like I said I have rinsed it with warm water and for me that made a huge difference so that's what I do after this step off camera and then for me it's ready to use. So I'm going to use some acrylic powder by NDED with their monomer, their liquid to check out the brush. Because it's a big brush, I think you're supposed to create one large bead. I'm really used to work gels and I noticed starting acrylics again, I made my beads way too big for the brush I'm using. So with the French it went okay, but when I wanted to try the nail bed, my bead size was too big and I really tried working it in a method like I am working gel, but with a number eight brush, I really think you should use the three zones way. So first, the smile then the middle and then the cuticle or if you prefer first the middle then the cuticle but you need more beads and I saw videos with larger beads with bigger brushes and I was so intrigued so that's why I bought this but like I said in previous videos finding a good acrylic brush for a good price can be hard so I am going to do a video on a very cheap acrylic brush I had for a few years it's still new but I've had other brushes from that and it was terrible. So 
I will do that later on, but let's first go back to the cats. My first impression. I love this. This is so easy to work. It's, well, of course, this is not really a design. I'm just creating a simple overlay to see how it works. But for me, it feels that you have so much more control because of the how wide the brush is. So you can create a bit of a wet beat and then you can really work it towards the free edge. And that's something I noticed on other videos as well, that with a big brush, you will create a more wet beat and let gravity do its work. So you will keep the nail downwards so that the beat will, well, kind of slide towards the free edge and you will just use your brush to press it on there and to prevent it from falling off. Because what I can see right now, because the beats are more wet then of course you can see that it gets more runny so i think that you have to practice with the mix ratio to make sure it's okay and that it's not going into the side walls but i think with a bit of practice you will get the hang of it quite easily what i noticed during the application is this little hair right there so i'm going to just try to get that out of there without pulling out more hairs so this one is removed and i really hope that that was the last one and that i'm not getting that one more time again so let's see for the last time how this will work and what i really like is because of course there's more liquid into the brush you can create a bit of a dry bead, which I did right now, just to see how runny this one will get. And because there's so much liquid in the brush, you can press it and work it, and that will release the liquid and make it more workable. So yeah, I think for how people use acrylics these days, so not with the three bead methods, I think a big brush is really a must. And something I noticed is that C and D, um, they have a number 10 brush in their kits right now and not a number eight brush anymore. So when I did my education, I received a number eight brush and now they already uh, put a number 10 brush in there. So I think that's, that says something that more people prefer bigger brushes one thing i saw someone say in another video is that with a big brush it will use more monomer so that's maybe something to keep in mind but when it's easier to apply and take you less time well that's a good thing as well of course so that's something you can decide what you find more important so after the using i am putting it back into shape and that went perfect so of course because it's crimped you cannot create it into a point you really need to keep it flat near the end and this is how it looks after the use i think it still looks good and of course i will keep you updated how it will look after several uses so for now i'm pretty impressed it's it's a bit of a uh, very precise work to get it back with the to get the gap back on so that's the only thing i don't like um, but yeah, I will keep you posted and if you have any questions, please let me know and I will let you know as soon as I can. Bye! -bye.